Now that you've learned how to import media into Final Cut Pro 10, let's take a look at how to tag your clips as a favorite and add them into the timeline. Review the previous lesson for instructions on downloading and importing the media. Start by selecting the liftoff clip in the media browser. Skim to the frame just before you see the helicopter rotors appear at the bottom of the frame, then click and drag to the right. A yellow selection range appears on the clip. Keep dragging until the aircraft leaves at the top of the frame, then release your mouse. Press the F key on your keyboard. You'll notice a green bar appears over the clip in the area defined by the selection range. This tells you that only the selected portion of the clip has been favorited. Favoriting clips is useful for selecting the portions of your clips that you want to use later on in your project. Next, locate the Mitch Open Hanger clip. I'm going to show you an alternate way of selecting a range. Skim to the frame where the hanger door appears on the left and set a range endpoint by pressing I on your keyboard. Skim to where Mitch crosses in front of the copter nose and set a range out point by pressing O. Press F on your keyboard to favorite the selection. If you want to view only your favorite clips in the media browser, you can do so by clicking on the filter menu at the top of the browser and choosing Favorites, or by pressing Ctrl F. Note that the clips displayed in the favorites are only the portions of the clips that you favorited, not the entire clip. To see your full clips again, go back to the filter menu and choose Hide Rejected. Now that we've selected our favorites, let's create a project to begin our movie. With the event selected in the library sidebar, right-click and choose New Project. Name the project Love of Flight and press Return. Let's add three clips to the timeline by holding down the Command key and selecting the Lift Off, Mitch Love of Flight, and Mitch Open Hanger Clips. Then click the Append Edit button on the toolbar or press E on your keyboard. To fit the clips to the timeline window, press Shift-Z so you can see all your clips. You can use a skimmer to skim over the clips, or you can press the spacebar to play back from anywhere your skimmer is currently located. The clips are not in the correct order, so let's rearrange them. Click and drag the Mitch Open Hanger clip to the left so that it's at the beginning of the timeline. When you see a blue vertical bar appear, release your mouse. To play back your project from the beginning, press the Home key, then the Space bar. But I think the love of flight uh, really began at a very young age. Nobody in my family really wanted to fly. It was just something I looked at the sky one time, saw an aircraft up there, and thought, wow, that must be incredible to be able to see what they're seeing from the air. So the love of flight started really early for me. To make Mitch's story more interesting, let's add some footage to reinforce what he's talking about. Skim to about 16 seconds in the timeline. As you skim, you'll see a timecode readout below the viewer. Click once to park the playhead just before Mitch says, I look to the sky. I look to the sky. In the browser, select the Sabercat flyby clip and create a selection range around the flyby portion of the clip using one of the two methods I just showed you. Press the Connect Edit button in the toolbar to connect this clip to the playhead position in the timeline. Click in the gray area a few seconds before the connected clip, then play back to see how the edit works. I looked at the sky one time and thought, wow, that must be incredible to be able to... Don't worry about the audio volume for now. We'll take care of that in another lesson.